morning everybody today we're going to have a cultural day in liverpool and that is cat butt today i'm going to take you around liverpool and this video is going to be slightly different because the entire vlog is going to be filmed with my iphone 13 pro and i know that people have been filming their videos with their iphones for a very very long time now but i haven't so i wanted to test it out and see if i could film a whole vlog on my iphone so in case you're wondering i am filming on the front facing camera right now i'm using the cinematic mode and to me right now this looks fine this looks pretty good quality um but we're gonna have to wait and see what it looks like when it comes to action Actually editing the video because if it looks terrible I'm just I'm just not gonna post it <laughs> I'm just not gonna post the vlog it never happened I realized that I actually never film Liverpool Liverpool is the city where I grew up and I think maybe that's why I don't film it that much I don't view it from the perspective of a tourist or a visitor I view it from the perspective of somebody who lives here so to me it's not that exciting it's just my hometown but it's actually a very cool place and I think for a tourist it would be really interesting so we're gonna go to the Walker Art Gallery which is probably my my favorite art gallery in Liverpool and we're gonna go to the World Museum and before we head out I also want to talk to you about what I'm wearing today this t-shirt is from the Kirumade and Tara McPherson collab store and I absolutely love it I love the design I love the fox I love the colors this is probably one of my favorite collaborations that Kirumade have done I think it is so beautiful the colors are so vibrant and I also have a hoodie which I will be wearing today and it's this hoodie here and it's a beautiful pink color and at the front it's got this eye inside a flower which is very very cool again i love the colors but the back the back is where it's really at i don't actually think the iphone is picking up the colors truly but the design is really really beautiful vibrant and detailed in real life and another thing i love about this hoodie is that inside is super warm it has like a fleecy feel to it so i'm gonna be wearing this today so let's go have a nice cultural date in liverpool so we've almost arrived at the walker art gallery if you park at the st john center it's a really quick and easy walk to get here i haven't been here in years oh my god here i also want to check out the pre-raphaelite stuff because they have quite a few pre-raphaelite paintings and i think that's my favorite period in art history okay should we go into the other room mm -hmm. yeah let's continue because i want to go up the stairs as well craft and design gallery Ooh. Mm -hmm. wait, wait 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 that looks really nice oh those are beautiful mm -hmm. aren't they when I did my art in high school, when I did my art A-level in high school, I would come here and like sketch and it was so nice and so relaxing. So John and I were joking that I'm going to get demonetized because everywhere you look, you just see naked people. <laughs> everywhere you see naked sculptures and naked people, um, but it can't be helped. It seems to be a running theme in all the art. Um, but yeah, this place is amazing. It's actually a lot bigger than I remember it to be. I thought it was much smaller and some of the works that you see are just incredible. So if you're in Liverpool, I highly, highly recommend visiting the Walker Art Gallery because it's just such a great way to spend a quiet, relaxing, calm day. You're going to feel very cultural afterwards. Like we were saying, we feel very cultured today, don't we? <laughs> For visiting the art gallery. But we're gonna go to the museum next, um, the World Museum in Liverpool and check out some natural history and also go to the planetarium. I think it's probably to protect the painting from the light, isn't it? Maybe. Very cool. What 
we're heading into the museum now and I haven't been to the museum in years. Last time I was here was when my dad took me to the planetarium. We used to go here all the time. So it's quite nice to revisit that again. Stopping off at the museum cafe first to get a flat white. Uh, we both got an oat flat white and then we're gonna head straight up to the planetarium. And they told me that they changed the layout completely. It used to be a circle and now it's like a big cinema. Thank you very much. Let's do a coffee taste test. Is it good? John approves, that means it's good. Okay, I'm not kidding. The coffee here is really, really good. Really good smooth and creamy so far i'm really liking filming on the iphone it's just a lot more intuitive than having a huge camera with you the only problem is i'm not actually sure where i'm supposed to look because instinctively i want to look at the screen i should be looking over here at the camera i think i think i'm looking at you guys now but normally i look over here which is the screen yeah so i just need to train myself to look that way your background <laughs> do you know what it's so fitting yeah to being in the planetarium there's little aliens in there and everything sometimes there are little dents and pieces of sharp metal where small micrometeorites have hit absolutely them. not <laughs> nope john has found his favorite section so this reminds me of my museum in animal crossing i have recently collected all the fossils so i've completed my collection do you see it's your hair in the morning? Fabulous. So we are done exploring museums and art galleries for the day. We're gonna head out and get something to eat. We are both very, very hungry. Where are we gonna go? Nando's? Chiki Nando's. A Chiki Nando's, yeah. If you come to the UK, you have got to go to a Nando's. It's like a rite of passage. They've got pretty good vegetarian and plant-based options too. And it's, uh, it's very delicious and also not too expensive, which is good. So John and I are heading to Nando's where we had our first date. Funny story. When we had our first date, I actually like dropped my burger <laughs> all over myself and it went all over the table. It was really embarrassing and I kind of just ignored it because I thought he didn't see, but he did see. He did. The spiced chickpea burger. Oh, do we have to still do it over the phone? Sometimes you have to order over the phone and they just bring the food to you. And other times you go up to the counter. I'm not sure what the guidelines are at the moment. Normally I get the medium or the hot. Um, I have had extra hot before. I don't actually find it that spicy, but I guess if you don't like spicy food, maybe go for lemon and herb or mango and lime. Mango and lime is quite nice too. So all the soft drinks here are refillable, which means you get your glass, you go to the refilling station and you just refill. It's like a drink bar, like a drinks bar in Japan. And you can pick up as many sauces and use as many sauces as you want. We have a couple of favorites, which is the garlic and also the vusa. The vusa is really, really hot, but it is delicious. The food has just arrived. I'm so excited. I got peri chips, the beanie patty, and John also got the same, but he got it in a pitta instead. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, so I remembered what I need and I need eyebrow gel. Ah, I found it. I always get exactly the same one each time, which is the collection clear mascara. And this works really, really well as an eyebrow gel. And also this is really cheap. This is £2.49. Yeah, £2.49. It used to be like £1.99, but now it's £2.49. But this works really good. Mine one looks really nasty and brown inside because it picks up all the color. So I'm gonna pick that up now in boots. John got the Oreo chocolate smoothie and I got the oolong with milk foam and IU jelly. It's good. It's not sweet because I don't like it when it's very, very sweet. Bubble tea is so great. It's like a drink and a snack in one. 
which I know that's what it's supposed to be, but I just love it so much. Today I didn't get any boba, but that's okay. It's also because I was really full from Nando's, but I just needed like a little bit of dessert. There is a Lush. Um, so this is actually the largest Lush in the world. And it's been quite a long time since I've been in there. So I'd like to go inside and have a look around. I really wanted something to commemorate Chinese New Year and this looks really, really cute. I might get it. I'm gonna ask if this is the last one though. It's drinky. I'm gonna get him. Oh, I'm so happy. It smells a bit citrusy and then like almost like incense a little bit. <laughs> Big aubergine energy. So I completely forgot to show you the other thing I got in Lush. So I've quickly set up my camera now because I just think it's so pretty um, and I'm really excited about it. So just a quick reminder, the bath bomb that I got was this beautiful one to commemorate the Lunar New Year, which is gonna be the year of the tiger. And it's just so adorable. I love cats, big cats, little cats, all kinds of cats. So I'm super happy that I was able to get something to commemorate the Lunar New Year. In case you don't know, Liverpool actually has its own Chinatown and we do have Lunar New Year celebrations. I also got this wrap, which I thought was so cool. I have no idea how I'm going to wear this or use this. I might just display it or hang it on my bag or something. It's so cool. I love the colors. I love the tiger. Normally what they do with the wraps is they wrap bath bombs or like other body products for a gift. But no, this is for me. This is not for me to give to anyone as a gift. This is for me to keep. I also had a delivery from YesStyle um, this morning. And I wanted to show you what I got because they had a sale and I was like, right, I'm just gonna order a few things. The first thing I repurchased that was like the number one thing I really, really wanted was my moisturizer. The moisturizer that I normally use is this one from Max Clinic and it's the Calendula Relief cream and this is actually amazing for dry skin sensitive skin and this has just been a lifesaver during the cold weather you can see how much i've got left which is not much at all i actually initially got this as a pr sample and after using it i was like this is the nicest moisturizer i've ever used it just works with my skin so well and the number one thing the number one thing i want to mention is that this does not block my pores and things block my pores very very easily but i picked up Another moisturizer. I'm so happy because I was really rationing this one. So this is the new one. I am so excited to use it. Um, it comes like this. So next I got two of my favorite face washes. These are the Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleansers and they are amazing. They're just a really good standard non-irritating, non-drying face wash. It cleans really, really well. I feel like this would be something that would be perfect for sensitive skin. It comes with a pump. I like the texture, the lack of a strong scent, the consistency. It just does the job really, really well. Next, I got my favorite mascara, and this is the mascara I use when I'm in Japan. And it's just really good because it stays on. It doesn't flake, it doesn't come off, it doesn't do anything that you don't want it to do. It's the Heroin Make long and curl mascara advanced film also the wand is really really fine and it grabs all of your lashes next i have the skin food peach cotton blur cushion with spf 50 plus and this just looked so adorable to me i'm a big sucker for packaging and i just think this looks really really cute and also i like skin food as a brand this will be my first time trying the cushion but i prefer cushions to like a heavier foundation Ooh. <gasps> It's so cute. It's got a little mirror. Oh, I love this. The cushion itself is like a little peach. This actually smells like a peach. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.